My name is Jeremy Bruce. I'm the program director here at the uh, Orthopedic Residency Program and director of sports medicine. This program's been around for well over 50 years and uh, just uh, educating some great orthopedic uh, residents coming through and uh, taking them out to the orthopedic community. Um, the program has always been a smaller program. It gives a nice smaller family feel, but uh, surely not with any shortage of diverse cases, uh, given that Erlanger is one of the seventh largest emergency rooms based on number of visits. So there is vast experience that uh, the residents can get here in their five years of training. All the teaching faculty here are fellowship trained. Uh, as I said, we have between 25 and 30 uh, fellowship trained uh, orthopedic faculty. And uh, we have every area of orthopedics covered. Uh, um, we could get to brag and say that now that the good Dr. Vosco has returned from a orthopedic oncology fellowship and has started his practice here. And the first orthopedic oncologist in the Chattanooga area ever. So we really have everything covered now. Uh, we have four or five sports faculty, uh, four or five hand, um, two foot and ankle faculty, two pediatric uh, faculty members. We have three arthroplasty trained uh, faculty and four outstanding trauma faculty members. So really a uh, large variety of fellowship trained faculty. Many that have trained here and went off did a fellowship and came back. So I think it's really unique that this program has such a true investment in the program and the fact that most of us have trained here and come back and so our hearts are here just like you go into your old high school for a football game. Many of us have trained here and we want to see this program be the best in the country. I'm, uh, I'm Dirk Kiner. I'm the Orthopedic Trauma Residency Director and Orthopedic Trauma Director for the hospital. Um, so I am in charge of uh, their trauma rotation, uh, which is the busiest rotation, the most aggressive rotation, and trauma's cool because it's where you learn to operate. We've got a, a coverage area that I was told at one time was about the third largest in the country. Uh, we have seven helicopters. Uh, we cover something like 1,200 square miles. In an area that is uh, that is full of, of mountains and unusual climates and, and and things like that, which makes us obscenely busy. I think the operative experience early is fantastic. Um, you go to a lot of programs, especially these larger academic programs, and at the various coasts, and you'll see chief residents that can't nail a tibia on their own. Um, our second year residents can nail a tibia on their own because they get all that experience early on. Um, our chief residents can do darn near anything short of a both column acetabulum on their own. I mean, we seem to continually attract uh, really good people that, that kind of perpetuate this snowball effect of having really good people, right? Um, they all get along really well. Uh, they hang out outside of work. Uh, they come to each other's kids' birthday parties and that sort of stuff. So it, it builds a camaraderie where everybody is, is trying their best and everybody's working their hardest because not only do they not want to let the patient down, they don't want to let their friends down either. So I'm Christopher K. Sanders, go mostly by case. Um, the residents know me as Dr. Sanders. So um, I'm on the arthroplasty um, rotation here, which mostly pertains to hip and knee replacement. I've been in practice here since 2016, so now starting my going into my sixth year, which is hard to believe, um, but also as a resident here from 2010 to 15, so I have a really good feel for the residency program in general, and then the arthroplasty rotation, of course. From an arthroplasty standpoint for residents, is a very well-rounded rotation. We have three arthroplasty, uh, excuse me, arthroplasty trained attendings, which means we've done a hip and knee fellowship. And so you're not gonna just get to see one way of doing things. You're gonna see three different ways of doing the same thing. And also we have two orthopedic robots here, not just one. So you're not only gonna be able to see one robotic system and learn all the details of that and how it works, you're gonna be learning that on two systems. So no matter where you go into practice, you're gonna have more options as far as what you're comfortable doing. And then I think also, you know, our patient population, also, and being at Erlinger allows us to have patients who maybe the robot's not going to be feasible because of our volume or insurance status or whatever it is. So you're not going to learn just the robot, you're going to learn the traditional manual ways of doing knee replacement as well, which is going to be important because where residents are going after this, the robot may not be an option for them. My name is uh, Ryan Vosco, I'm the uh, Orthopedic uh, Oncology uh, Director here at uh, UT Erlinger um, and the affiliate instructor for the the residency program at the uh, Department of Orthopedic Surgery. The uh, rotation with me is usually going to be as a, a 
second or fourth year uh, resident and it's a great uh, experience to learn the basics of orthopedic oncology for general orthopedic uh, care uh, but also it's just a uh, there's a lot of operative experience there because a lot of it's uh, benign tumors and metastatic disease we're going to get an early uh, operative uh, experience so I think it's uh, excellent rotation to set you up for the skills you need to be successful and also to pass your uh, your boards where there's a lot of oncology on that as well. So. My name is Robert Quigley and I am a pediatric orthopedic surgeon here at UT Chattanooga. The Peds orthopedic rotation really sees a wide range of orthopedic conditions um, between me and Dr. Moses. We're both pediatric orthopedic surgeons and his specialty is club foot. So we see everything from club feet to scoliosis. We see trauma and fractures and hip dysplasia. And I think that the residents would get good training seeing all sorts of different conditions at the Children's Hospital. We employ a mentorship model. And so the residents are currently doing two month rotations where they will spend a month with me or a month with Dr. Moses. And when I'm in the operating room, you're one on one with me operating. And then, you know, when I'm in the clinic, you spend that day in clinic with me. And so I get a chance to really get to know the residents well. I get a chance to see what their strengths and weaknesses are. And then as I get to trust them more throughout the month that they spend with me, they get to do more and more surgery. And I get to trust them to, to do more and more of the case. One of the big things that you should be looking for in a program is getting those bread and butter cases, those top 20 surgeries that are gonna be done and making sure you have a large experience and plenty of numbers to do those. Um, I think that's where our program really provides plenty more faculty than residents. We have so many cases that many even go uncovered without residents. Um, and this allows for case logs to really be through the roof for the residents. They usually average well over 2,000 case logs by the time they graduate. And most of the numbers when we look at them are in the 90th percentile. So I think they get a lot of operative experience uh, to be ready and prepared to go straight out into private practice if they wanted to. However, at the same time, you also want the academic opportunities in case you do want to go on to a fellowship or stay in the academic um, teaching environment, you have those opportunities as well.